Ang kinen ay hatid sa inyo ng UNICEF. Kung ganyan nga sila laduhan nga ng mga kabataan tumutulong sa pagdininis at pagpapaganda ng paligid, ang gumagatid yun na naman ay medyo nag-aalala sa paligid nila. Iniisip kasi nila ang maaaring masamang mangyari kapag hindi napigilan ang mga illegal na gawain sa gilid ng kanilang ilog. Heto ang ulat tungkol sa illegal extraction ng sand and gravel sa Bumagyan. This is Okoy, a river located a few kilometers north of Dumaguete City. This riverbed is abundant in rocks, sand, and gravel, valuable raw materials for making concrete, which in turn is used for building houses. For most residents near the river, extraction of sand and gravel has become a means of livelihood. Some do it legally and within the prescribed limits of extraction. However, there are others who do it without getting a permit, and some do it excessively. This is taking its toll on the environment. Itong sobrang pagkuha ng mga uh, bato at saka graba sa ilog ay nakakasira sa pulikid kapag malalim na itong masyado. Kasi yung sa gilid ng ilog, uh, magkukulaps yun, lalalim at magkukulaps at magiging dahilan ng last lap. Evidence of too much extraction is the destruction of the concrete bridge in Okoy four years ago. Permittees, or those who have been granted permits by the government, extract sand and gravel only from certain areas. They are monitored to make sure that they comply with the prescribed limitations for extraction. Upang maiwasan ang mga kalamidad na mangyayari dahil sa pag kukuha ng uh, graba at uh, bato sa ilog. Dapat sundin lang ng no, mga permiti yung nakalagda doon sa kanilang Environmental Compliance Certificate o ECC at saka doon sa kanilang permit. Dahil yun lang talaga ang uh, ipinahintulot sa kanila. Those who extract despite not having permits do the most damage since their movements are not regulated. Hindi ba din wala yun yung makuha? Naayon tayo ma-apply an eh. Okay, naman tanya mong gingon nga, paano mo na ipakamaligal ang mga trabaho. Ang sama nga wala man doon, eh, naimog yun, illegal ang lamang ang pagservisyon. Why do some fail to get a permit? We decided to find out exactly how to get one. Okay, um, to become a permittee, you have to have an ECC before applying for a permit here in Negros Oriental or possibly in anywhere in the Philippines. So, um, when the, the government, uh, gives you the permit, grants you the permit, there are terms and, or, and conditions or limitations that are set by the agency. So, one of which is that the extraction should be done in, your, in the area of your, in the applied area. And then second, um, manual extraction should be done in a way that it does not destroy the banks of the river. Uh, we conduct uh, regular checking of the delivery receipts um, and we also conduct a regular monitoring of the compliance of the conditions of the environmental compliance certificate. If extractions are only done by permittees, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, or DENR, is confident that the amount of extraction can be controlled. But illegal extractions are rampant, even during VRs. To address this problem, the DENR personnel and the police conduct nighttime patrols. For the government to succeed, ordinary citizens, even the youth, are asked to report immediately if they witness any illegal extractions in the area. We must all work together if we want this problem solved. After all, it is we who benefit from our environment as well as suffer from its abuse. <laughs>